Now that's a sound you don't want to be woken up by first thing in the morning. This is Joe. The bloody hell's at this time of the morning? And that's Dave, her ex, outside. For sake. He's very anxious. Come in, Dave, for God's sake. Yes, Kay, Kay. Oh, come in, why don't you? Now that was a fair question. Just tell me you got that lottery ticket I bought you a while ago. You mean to tell me that all this damned annoying harassment's about a lottery ticket? It wouldn't be, would it, if you answered your bloody phone? Why would I think any different? Well, have you got it or what? I don't know. Oh, Jesus, Joe. It's a lottery ticket. You've either got it or you haven't. I don't know, Dave. I've been trying to sort out my life since you went. Oh, Jesus. Listen, look. If you've got that lottery ticket, yeah, our lives are going to be sorted. I quite liked my life as it was, Dave. It's bloody charming, isn't it? My husband clears off with a younger model. And what, because some lottery ticket turns out to be a winner? I take it it's a winner. He wants me back. Sit down for a minute. Don't tell me what to do, Dave. You don't own me anymore. Now that was the truth of the matter. But Dave was about to be totally honest for the first time in his life. I don't want you back. What? You are unbelievable. Well, what did you expect? Just because you won the big one, that I want to take you back? But for nothing, Dave, nothing! You are going to give me half of that money. Over my dead body? Yeah, over your dead body. You owe me, Joe! For what? Well, for all the years of being a miserable cow! Jesus Christ! Well, is there any fucking wonder? Oh, shut up, Joe! You owe me, and I'm going to get that money. I'll tell you that. My dead body, Dave, like yeah. I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joe found the ticket and arranged to meet Dave a couple of days later. Morning! So where you been? Oh, let me think about it. Am I late? I've been to pick something up. Why didn't you just call me? <sighs> Same reason as you left me, Dave, because you don't give a shit. Morning. Morning. How are you? Good, thank you. So, yeah. All right, thank you. Good. Are you sure? Yes, that'd be good, thank you. Okay, be yeah. a few minutes. Okay, All right. Yeah, Have a seat. Okay. Now it was time to get even. So where is it? Where's the ticket? Hey, did you find it? Funny, isn't it? In all the years we were married, you never paid me this much attention. Yeah, well, I mean, you've got something I want. Mm. Did you ever love me? Truthfully, no, but, I mean, that's beside the point. Oh, well, at least you're finally being honest. Look, I didn't mean to hurt you. <sighs> I've been thinking about this lottery ticket thing, Dave. Two days earlier, Joe meets an old family friend, Duncan. He's a printer by trade. I'd really appreciate it if you'd keep this video quiet. Joe, how long have we known each other? I know that, I know, but I really don't need Dave to find out about this. Well, don't worry. Once a professional, always a professional. I've had sleepless nights thinking about this lottery ticket. What are you going on about? It occurred me. If we won all that money, would we really be happy? Well, of course we'll be happy. No, Dave, we wouldn't. <laughs> I don't think so. Now comes the sting. You see, we would have been happy, but you decided to change all that. Oh, for Christ's sake, Joe, give it a rest. So I've decided that neither of us should be happy. Hey, but... <laughs> you stupid cow, you don't know what you've done! How much have you just thrown away? Oh! Oh! You see... Joe got Duncan to print a duplicate lottery ticket, allowing her to make Dave believe she'd torn up the original. She wanted Dave to know what it was like to lose something close to his heart. Joe won the money, but made sure Dave was getting none of it. She gave the ticket to her mum to hand in, who now shares everything with Joe. 